me um this stream has been kind of a long time coming not necessarily the what we're doing today but like me making music on stream in general has been a long time coming and um i'm a bit nervous i'm just a, i'm just a little bit nervous um I, I mean, I know it, it's not necessarily supposed to be like 100% perfect or whatever, but like music is one of the few things I'm really passionate and also very self-conscious about. I got some diet caffeine free cola with me today. But uh, <clears throat> like I'm, I'm self-conscious about my art, but like I know that it's not like the best out there. Like I know that. But like music is one of the few things that I'm sort of good at, so I get real self-conscious about that in particular. I am messing with uh, my pants at the moment, sorry. Um, so doing a stream revolving around uh, music and a genre that I've never really touched upon, but one that I've really enjoyed. Um, as an example, the, mu the song I just played, um, at the beginning is uh, Plunder Phonics. Um, as far as I can tell, Plunder Phonics is pretty much um, defined as like it's it's sort of kind of what it says on the tin: plunder, as in like uh, scavenge, find, um, search for, and phonics, as in sound. So um, you take bits and pieces of sounds from uh, various media sources. Um, it could be one one media source. It could be multiple. It depends on the person in the song and you put those all together and you make a song out of it and like it's basically sampling but to the extreme and I've uh, been getting back into uh, those types of songs recently so I'm just um, I'm just like very nervous in general about this even though I really shouldn't be like I said um, I know it's not going to be perfect, I know things are going to go wrong, it's my first time trying to do um, music of this genre, but um, I don't know, I just thought it would be nice to, to do something like this. I don't, like, I, I'm really self-conscious about my music, but let's, let's get into it, shall we? Here we are. So, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, apologies if I end up being a little bit quiet in general, like, uh, not necessarily like quiet, quiet, but like, I'm not talking a lot kind of quiet. Also, let me see if the MIDI sounds okay. Yep, okay, it's working. Yep, it's working. Um, I have a MIDI keyboard. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago, I believe. I don't really know how to play piano that well. I can do like chords. Also, uh, so this, um, <clears throat> this particular, um, music making program, which, uh, all the cool kids call DAWs, which are digital audio workstations, is called LMM, LMMS, LMMS, um, it is a free program, um, that you can download to use, which is why I'm using it, because I don't have a lot of money to spend on music programs, because music programs tend to cost uh, at least around $200 if you want a really good one, like FL Studio, which is a lot of what other people use, but I don't because money! Um, but you can use uh, what are called sound fonts, um, which are essentially what uh, MIDI's kind of base themselves around, I guess. The other type of uh, in digital instruments that uh, people use are called VSTs, and I don't know what that stands for, but I'm sure it's something professional. But VSTs are what um, is used in FL Studio, but uh, in this program they use sound fonts, and you can download free sound fonts or uh, buy sound fonts online. I uh, download some. I have uh, this one from. Uh, WarriorWare DIY, which is all the um, sounds from that game's uh, music making thing, so like acoustic guitar, uh, got timpani, um, cat meow. Uh, so I, when I was in middle school and high school, I used, uh, WarriorWare DIY, um, to make a lot of music because I had a pretty, uh, I had a pretty both limiting and, um, expansive music making program. So I would use that to make a lot of different songs. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm using this to help with, uh, melody writing today. I'm not going to actually, like, use it... And the final song, this is just so I can outline a melody of sorts and then uh, pick apart the sounds that I want to use and do that. But um, the main thing that I wanted to do today, um, an idea I had a while ago, wait, hang on, uh, was import. Alright, now I gotta go check all of my god dang musics. Oh wait, hang on, it's... Uh, not in downloads. Let's see here. Where the heck? Where's my videos? There's my videos. Um, and sounds. And then, yeah, Mac sounds. Ah, oh, jeez. No, these are all just import MIDI. God dang it. Okay, um, how do I in a sample. I think I have to drag it in from my god dang folder here. I am like recording my desktop because that's what's easier for me because there's many aspects to it that aren't just uh, the music making program in gen general. Uh, there are a lot of different aspects to it. So let me go ahead and there it is. So these will be important later. These are, these are surprise tools that will help us for later. Anywho, Oh, you're kidding me. What the heck? How do I... I know I imported a stupid... Okay, now it's frozen. Good! I know I imported a sample before because I wanted to test to see if the samples would even... Like, if if I could even do samples. But, uh, okay, there it goes. There it is. Okay, so then... 
calculate. How the heck do I get this in? How do I get this in? Okay, hang on. Let me let me see if I can find it. I haven't really used uh the sampling thing very much. Uh, so it's not that one. Edit. It's not import because that's specifically for MIDI's. Maybe it's open? Nope, it's not open. Hmm. How odd. Okay, I know... I've... Listen, I've done this before, I just don't remember how the heck to do this. Sample track. So we have the sample track. Maybe we have to import it there? Nope. Okay. Delete. This is going to take a while. Uh, basically, my idea was, uh, because I'm so obsessed with Salmon Max at the moment, I was going to make a Salmon Max um, remix in a sort of similar style to uh, a favorite Plunder Phonics artist that I enjoy named uh, Little Tommy J. Um, he is, I have used a lot of his songs, uh, a lot of his songs for, um, the starting and ending music, uh, ch -ch 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 sounds, okay, now we gotta, hang on, gotta do that so I can actually look at the goddamn thing, okay, there it is, there we go. Oh, it's loading. Give it a second. Nope, that's not what I wanted. This one. There we go. So I did have like a general idea of what I wanted to do. Oh, good Christ almighty. Stop that. That's not where I wanted you to go, you god dang piece of garbage. I wanted you to go here. Here. In the sampler. There you are. There you are. So I have to... Gotta go a bit further in. And let me... Narrow this down so I have a bit more workspace. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, uh, basically the idea is that I'm going to take parts of, uh, this song and various, uh, clips from the first game, uh, the first Telltale game of Sam and Max, and we will go from there. And it'll eventually become a song, but I don't know if I'll ever, like, really finish it. I just, hang on. So, I don't have the correct tempo yet. So I have to get the tempo, which is why I have this open. This is uh, just a general uh, online tempo measuring tool. Um, my MIDI keyboard is like in the way. This, uh, helps me to measure the, the, the tempos and such. Uh, I'm I'm really really nervous, but uh, hang on. So I can do so I can use I can play this in the background and then I can uh, mark the tempo with uh the space the space bar to get a general idea for the tempo. So do that. I think I missed one, actually. Okay. 
so it's around a hundred eighty. If I go by uh, the the base, go one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. So it'd be like around that. So then we have to adjust the tempo up here, which you can either just scroll or adjust by clicking on it. Yeah, what I need to do is cut is to make cuts to it. And I don't remember how to snip at all. Uh oh. Should be a way to snip. I just don't remember how. Boy, I'm doing real great at this already. All right, so. Oh wait, I think it's. I think I just have to like. No, it's not that way. Hmm. I will figure it out as I go. Like I said, this is I'm just figuring out all out as I go. But uh I'll, I'm getting what I wanna do correctly then. It's not here, it's further down. Part of this hmm. Yeah, it's somewhere in there. I think it's put a kinda in the middle ish. Shoot me. I accidentally just deleted the whole thing. Good. There it is. It's back. So now it's FX mixer, automation mixer, piano roll, bass, project notes, controller rack. Controller rack is this one. Help. About. I may have to look up on the internets. All right, let's open up a tab. New to LMS. Um, wait a god dang minute. Oh, you're kidding me. You can use VSTs. The heck? Oh, well, I never even knew. Ain't that something. Anyways, uh, where are sample resources? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Samples. Samples. Song editor. Here's that, working with segments. Double text, double clicking on it will open a file. Open a file, open dialog where you can choose a new sample for that element. Can't edit record sounds, but LMS can record sounds. It can't edit record sounds. Move it freely, copy it, add a segment, delete it. Edit tool. Snap, don't snap, clear selection. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. Let's see if I can find a clip. Clipper effect. Clip. Snip. Cut is a bit different. 
and now I have to do it in a completely different program, so we're gonna have to get that out. How fun. Ignore that. That's where I'm getting my samples. So now we have to go to a completely different program because LMS is being dumb, so that's that's great. Let's delete this. Save as. Sam Max. Normal stuff. Uh, so uh, since I have to go and open up a completely different program, I might as well um show a little bit of what I would normally have uh music wise when it comes to uh making music. Um, I think this one's probably the most recent, but also one of the it's a it's a remake from a different song that I had when I was younger that I made on WarioWare DIY. So this is the kind of stuff that I generally make. Um, as well as like vocal stuff, but um, I don't have that in here. Yeah, that's, that's uh, not even close to being done yet, but now let's head back here. And so now that we have Audacity open, which is another audio thing, it's more so for recording clips than anything, but I guess we have to edit stuff because god dang stupid LMS is being dumb. Okay, so here is where the measure starts. Wait, hang on. I worked a lot with uh, Audacity for mixing and mastering types of stuff. Hello. But, uh... I haven't done uh, anything regarding this, though. here trying to figure out where would be the best spot to like sample this from here Maybe this is good. Let's cut this. Let's clip. Let's clip this. Split the boundaries. I'm trying to see where the best. Yeah, clip. Then we clip the boundaries here. Then we can. Whoops. Then if we do that, we can uh, play it uh, on loop. All right, we may have to change the ending there. Let's see. I'm taking pre-existing sounds 
and making them into something new. Uh, uh, an example of what I'm trying to do is, uh, this? Here? All of this is from- all the sounds are from, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Like, every single sound is from Red Dead Redemption. They're all taken from the game and, like, put into a completely different context. So I'm trying to do that, but with, uh, Sam and Max. Oops. So right now I'm trying to make a good loop. That's the issue. Oops. And I just completely undid everything I just did. Cool. Good. Let's try here. Where was the end point? There was the end point. All right. That's not the end point either. What the heck is the end point? Oops. incredibly hard to pinpoint down. to cut. Whoops. Redo merge. And what the heck was it? The snip? We split. Here ish Yeah, I. Then we try... Oh, that's a pretty good loop! That's not too bad of a loop. So this, um, we can... Let's see, let's take away this. Delete that and delete that. Save this as export. <laughs> OK. 
Come on. Come on. Oh, having the OBS open is not helping. All right, uh, that's not where I want it. Okay, go to videos. Then to sounds. Then to here. Big loop one. Let's see if that'll work. We'll have to have this open, or I'll have to come back to this eventually. I probably shouldn't have it open right now. Don't, 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 don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. I think that's it. Do not save. So we can come back to that. And right now we are have to come back here and reload my computer because the stupid thing is dumb. And this is a program. Where is it? There it is. Big loop. Ah, shoot. There we go. Big loop. There we go. And it's like... It's like also almost pretty much uh, the correct length too. Nice. If I can remember correctly, yes, and then, god dang it. Okay, so then, now we need another sample track. We need another sample track. How do I make another sample track? Oh, there we go. A sample track. Let's rename this to main loop. Rename this to to boot because we're going to have to go back into Audacity and take a couple of a couple of uh, samples from another different song to use as um, individual notes. This particular song. This is all a lot of audio tech type stuff. That we're we're taking pretty much the entirety of, of this little part here, and we are getting the individual notes for that to put into the rest of the song. And I should have just Clipped it from the beginning instead. Woo! That was the wrong one. There we go. Delete. So yeah, we have all these individual notes that we can now use. Go back. So we have this note, this note. Although I guess that's the, that's the same note. So we have one of these. We got that we can use as well. We got that as well. It's also that one. So I'm going to try Going at this slow and steady. That was wrong. Shortcut again. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's a good one. So let's delete these. And say export that as another as another WAV file. Make that boot one. Just just 
just clear it all. Then we can undo and get the other ones. So that's boot one. Do do. You can probably take this one. Take that one. Get, get from here. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good solid note. That's a pretty solid note there. So that's, let's export that as boot two. Clear that, make it easier for myself. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get both of these ones. I don't know if I should get this one. No, we can just take it from here then. Because that's the same exact note. So then. Sorry if this is uh, a bit boring. This, this is how this is how sampling goes, I guess. <laughs> I'm probably doing this wrong, honestly. Oh, good. I made a keyboard to get in the way, so I'm going to put this down. Off to the side for now so that I can not have to bend my arm in a weird manner. It's not a good one. Boot three. Come on. Come on. Having all these things open is probably not helping my cause. All right, so that's boot three. Then the last note. And now we have all four notes that we can use as samples for a song. So then we take that. We can also change the effects on the sample if need be. But for right now, let's not do that because I don't really feel the need to. Back to this area. Gotta reopen everything again. Okay, here it is. So boot. There's boot one. So the thing about this is that not all of those notes fit within the key of the song. So the key, let me bring back up my MIDI keyboard. Oops. Do, do. So that's the key we're working with here, and the notes we got are Which is, uh, in case you're curious, C minor, E flat major I think. Yeah, E flat major. Wait. Yeah, E flat major. Okay, we're good. So So that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's in the key, so that could work. That's also in the key. Okay, so that's just an octave. That's an octave between those two, so that's the same note. And then four. Okay, so those all actually do fit within the key. So, if we're going by... That's... That. So in the minor key, you start. Uh, if you know solfege, which is uh, is that? Um, in minor, you instead start on on la which in the in this key is still here but la ti do re mi fa la so la la got it <laughs> so basically if we were to think of it uh, instead of major then the the two notes that are are the same are fa oh wait no are fa in major this one would be so in major and this would be re in major so we have to work with our re fa and so The melody for the, what, what the sample I got right now. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, let me. How do I make this? There it is. Loop. Change the, the the instrument because this is gonna bother me if I keep it on on the that one in particular. could work. Okay, so now I have to... How do I make this so that it's not just or... I probably can't. Fun. Oh, LMMS, you slide dog, you. Two. Wait, you know, we need another. Do another sample. Doop. 
Oh. Whoa. Okay, let me put this here. Whoa! Doot doot. Undo that. See if this works. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This is going in an uh, entirely different direction than I was thinking I was going to go. Bit hard to tell. Where exactly each of the notes are. Just a little bit more. You're really being annoying, aren't you? Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Okay. But copy that. Then we need to paste over here. Wait, no, hang on. You have to copy. That ah, shoot. Copy. And then we paste. Hello? Then we paste. And then it doesn't work because God bless me. Now what if I instead... Yes! Yes! I've cheated the system. There we go. Ta-da! Nope, I haven't cheated the system. Oh, this is a bit odd. Yeah, no, it won't go back, it won't go up there. Hmm! Don't like that.
Maybe to put some effects on that. Get ourselves some reverb! I can never remember which reverb I usually use. This is not the you this is not the reaper for you to use. That's not the one. I think I just usually use the, the LMS one. That's not it either. What the heck? Reaper. Was it calf? It was calf. to not have that cutoff be there. But the reverb does kind of help a bit. Just a little bit. Not sure I'm going to get that. Let's see if we can... Add the reverb to that, see if that'll help at all. Maybe that'll help. Change, change that up. Get the... Oops. Oh, I should probably put an equalizer on that as well. Yeah, that's, those are those are the big ones. So this is so here's the main loop we got going on right now. No wait, hang on. Let's put in. All right. Let's get equalizer, five band, eight band. Let's try eight band. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. That's not the equalizer I use. I think I just used this one. Yeah, this one, because it's visual. Oh, this is this is an entirely different sound. Oh, 
Howdy! I'm just like completely messing with settings here. Fine. Around here. Put that add that to the other one. wanted to use was and it's gonna be a bit hard to this one at some point as well So there's a lot of uh, background uh, other stuff going on with that, but eventually, eventually we'll get there. But for right now, um, yes, it is actually. Um, what I'm what I'm doing is basically taking a bunch of different parts from the Sam and Max Telltale games and then making them so they sound uh, not quite like this, but you know, in a similar sort of vein to this. Where, uh, as you can see, like there's there's this, the, these different clips, though so they're all different sounds from this particular game. So I'm using all those to like make a, a different sa a song. And I've never done this before, so this is all just like a new experiment to me. But I really like this genre of music, so I wanted to try it out myself. Yeah, something like something something similar to that, but uh, because the things is all all the different things that I'm using are just kind of complicated, uh, and not like intuitive. Like I guess Apple well Apple Studio isn't very intuitive, but it's a lot easier to use, I guess. Yeah, I've I've been kind of uh obsessing over Sam and Max since like uh last summer, so uh this was just inevitable at this point, but um. I had I had particular samples I wanted to use eventually, but like, oh god, I have to. There was a part that I wanted to particular samples that I wanted to get, which I recorded on my Switch, um, to use as sort of how at at the start of that clip I just showed, uh, there was like all those uh, percussiony type of samples. I want to use that as sort of percussion, but I don't have any of them um just here as um things to words i don't have any of them as um as mp3s or wave files yet so i have to get that out i also have like I did I did have like a few samples that I wanted in particular to use and I wrote them down and I need to go find them. Let me, let me get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Then add a new sample track. 
new sample track. Where, where was it? Here it is, sample track. So I know I wanted to add Whee! that one. Not particularly that one, not like that one in particular because it's very low quality. Whee! As you can hear, it's really grainy. So I'd have to uh, go to my Switch and record that specifically from the Switch eventually, but uh, as a placeholder, um, just going to put this down as max because there will be more. Just we'll get there. So I want to have Whee! this in here for sure. Oops, what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. What is this sound? <laughs> I've watched part of the cartoon. I haven't I haven't seen all of the episodes. I watched like maybe six of them question mark. Um but I've seen like various clips of the show, so I kinda know where where uh what's like what what's all about, what happens in it. And I, I do, I, I, I like it, I just haven't gotten around to watching the rest. I don't think I was going to actually put this in this particular part. I was going to make another, a different loop later on that, uh, will, will be helpful. <laughs> that, that one is pretty good though. I like how that sounds. <laughs> I like that actually. Turns out, I like that actually. Just to make it at least sound not as terrible, we're gonna we're gonna give a little bit of a, an equalizer to that to that one there. Hang on. Joop. Uh, let's see here. Oops, wrong one. Oh god, that's clipping. Nope, no, nope. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that sounds a bit better now. That sounds a bit better now. For for now, that that'll just be hap. Look, that'll just have to do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. But what I was going to do. Now we have a completely different program. Third program of of the day. We have um. K Kden Kden, spelled K D E N live, which is a. Why is this? Why are you doing this? Which is a uh, video editing program, which is for free as well. All the programs I'm using are free because I don't have money to spend on such. So this I'm just going, uh, we have a few different sounds we can use. Let's, let's just try to get a couple right now. Let's just get a couple. But, uh, basically. <clears throat> I went and did some clips uh, in, on my Switch version of the game because you can make it so that there are only the sounds and no audio, uh, no uh, voices or music. So we have this. Actually, hang on. Okay, Max walking around in the background with him shooting, that actually worked pretty well. I actually like how that sounded. Hang on. Hang 
Hang on. Okay, I kind of cut it off at the end there, because I didn't really hear his... While I was recording this, I don't think I heard his uh, tappity-tap-taps going on. So let's... Uh, cut this clip here. Then delete that. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm still learning this uh, particular uh, video editing program as well. So, you know, uh, this is good. You can also just uh, do that. I think that's it. Okay. Gotta go at this slowly. About here-ish, maybe? Let's see if that works. And then... Then how do I do this loop zone? Yeah, that works. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good loop. I'm going to have to adjust the the tempo because that is different from the tempo of the song here. Which is a bit slower, comparatively speaking, but now we can take this and we can make it into, god dang it, and then we can make it into, uh, render, render, into audio only. So we can put this into a WAV file this in the correct folder, you got dang people. As... Shoot and walk. There we go. And then we can render to file. And there we go. We can, we got that now. Now that means we have to go back into now audacity and clean that up. <laughs> so it can be in the correct tempo. And I can figure out what the okay, that's the wrong one. What tempo uh Max's walking is by using Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, if I don't go by the individual beat, beat, tip, 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 tap, 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 it is 122, and our song is at 183, so we double that in order to get the actual tempo to slow it down, and we get, um, We get 2.44, so we have to change the tempo of this from 2.44 to 183. Oh wow, that's a pretty even looking percentage change, that's not usually how it, how it happens. So now it's a bit slower, which will sound a bit weird.
which does it does sound a bit weird, but we can fix it. We can make it sound less weird with reverb. Or not reverb. We'll figure it out. Uh, for now, let's just export this again. Replace that. Don't worry about that. Don't save the project. And now we have another new sample track. I have to go back to the stupid thing again because yay. Oops, how'd I get there? Whoops. That was my camera. All right, sounds. Back here. Now we have shoot and walk. Oh, I might have had to. I probably should have adjusted. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I should have adjusted that. Okay, hang on. We can fix this. Ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, Audacity? This probably isn't a terribly interesting stream. I apologize. <laughs> Let's let's cut that, add that to the end. Okay, let me make that. Yeah, it's a bit better. Maybe reduce the sound on that as well. Go, go even further. All right, this is just going, this is going to, this is now going to fade out. Mm. Repeat, fade out. Okay, good. Nope. Export. And back to here. I do wish I had an easier way to get here, but oh well. Okay, hang on.
it higher. Hello. Bit hard to hear the tappity taps. Oops. Okay, hang on. Shoot out. Get rid of that one. All right. Um, maybe equalizer. See if equalizer will help at all. It's a little bit hard to hear. Let's see what I what happens if I add some reverb. That's a diffusion. Be quiet. That's pretty good so far. I kind of like where this is going. I kind of like where this is going. I like where this is going so far. Gonna, I'm gonna mute that one so I can figure out. I want to see if I can like figure out any kind of particular melody I want for this. Oops. All right, let me get back into what the key was, which is C minor. Open my MIDI piano keyboard over here. Uh, C minor. Yeah. Got it. All right. Then. It's very hard to hear the piano, so turn it up.
Please. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet. I'm kind of concentrating. Let me move my keyboard out of the way.
Alright, and then... Oh wait, no, I think I accidentally didn't copy that because LMS is weird like that. Copy? Unless... No, that is correct. Sometimes it's just weird. So that's... So this, this, this I just did. I don't know how you, how people usually do, um, the melodies for these types of songs, but, uh, I'm, I figured that it would probably be easiest for me to do it by just making a melody first and foremost, and then going ahead and filling it out with the samples that I find throughout various things. That is not the correct file. I'm looking for a file where I put all the samples that I know I want to include, at least somewhat. Where did I put them? Oh no! Where the heck did I put them? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. But this is just a general outline, it's not, uh, it's not like a end-all be-all. This is... Like, things can change. Things can change with that, depending on what samples I find. I know... Another sample in particular I want is... To find it within this itself. Okay, that's we. Wait, no, I haven't looked at these ones. Oops, oops, that's a completely different voice actor. Uh-oh, I don't want to use these samples because that's a completely different voice actor from the rest of the game. Woo, okay. Where the heck was it? Okay, it's not 102 because it's taking forever and I have to load. Let's see. 103? Nope. Okay, I swear to God, I had it somewhere. Got to take a look. Nope, I didn't label it. Cool. Good for me. But I have a couple that I know I kind of want to include, but I don't think I have them readily available. So... Other than that, uh, I don't have a whole lot that I think I can really do right now besides, like, downloading uh, the rest of the, the files that I need for, for the purposes of uh, sampling. But yeah, this is, this is what we've done so far in the uh, almost hour and a half.
it's not much in the grand scheme of things, but it generally takes me a while to, to do songs anyhow. Like uh, another song that I've done before. Uh, let's see. This one? Is this an actual song? Okay, that's not really a song, that's just a melody. The actual songs. Some of these are just uh, covers of stuff I've done. Here's one that has an entire vocal track to it, not here in a different program, but uh, I started this one a while ago. But I mean, I figured I could do something like this because a lot of my usual songs uh, rely heavily on using at least like one particular sample or um, chord progression or something that I found or or that I randomized in WarriorWare DIY or that uh, put it into good use with, um, with the rest of the song. Like, this entire song is based around uh, it's based around this here, which I got by playing around in Chrome Music Labs, which is uh, a free, another free thing that you can just use to mess around with various music and s music making stuff. So. So I based like the entire song around this and like filled out the rest of it based off of that. But, uh, the vocals are in this. Another free program! Synthesizer B Studio! You can buy, um, the actual, like, full version of it, if you so desire, but I do not so desire because, um... I just don't like, um... I, I, I don't I don't have money. Music programs cost a lot of money, and I don't have a lot of money, so you know. There there you go. Now that I know that I can use VSTs on um LMMS, I'm gonna do that now. Last night when I was thinking about how in the world I found that I was talking to you. Yeah, last night I was thinking about you. Can we just talk about it? See, so yeah, I started this uh, not too long after college, so basically... Almost three years ago, not quite. But I kept going back and forth about uh, the vocals and stuff, as well as just in general, so... And also, uh, I, I wanted to make like a music video for it, but I haven't like gone around to doing so, so it's just been in purgatory. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very self-conscious about my music in general. A lot of people tell me it's good, but I just, I just, uh, comparatively to a lot of folks, I feel like it's not as good as it could be. But, uh, that's, that's like some of the stuff that I've worked on before. Where's, where's another song that I've, that I've done? Uh... Okay, it's the same song I did... Four. Nope. Okay. Where's the? Okay. Same song I did before, but without the the without the instrumentals and and just the vocals. Take me far away to where frogs play. Oh, can you hear the drop slowly fall into the pond and glisten? So take my. 
Yeah, there's there's more. Oh goodness gracious me. There's more. There's more to it than that. Uh, I'll do most most of what I do is just a lot of covers and like uh trying to figure out how different songs work uh with sheet music. But yeah. Uh, so considering considering how uh long it generally takes me to take a song, anyways, I feel like I got a lot done today. So this. For how very little it is, I feel like it's still a very good, decent amount. And I'll, I'll, I'll eventually, like, pro probably come back to this and uh, do things with that. Uh, pick up the samples, maybe get something out there. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not very good about releasing my music. Um, I also don't know how to market my music and such. So, you know, who, who knows what will happen with that, but for now, um, that's gonna be it for today because, uh, <laughs> I think I've reached the limit of my nervousness regarding, regarding my music, so we're just gonna be done for now. We're gonna be done and we're gonna leave now. We're gonna leave now. <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's about it for, for today. Um, I think, trying to think of, uh, next week. Uh, I'll be doing probably, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Castlevania and, Castlevania and, good god, I'm so scattered brain today, um, and the, the other one, Wander Song, and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do that Friday, potentially Saturday or Sunday, but, uh, for now, uh, that's about it, because, uh, my anxiety is through the roof. So, uh... I don't know if I'm ever gonna do another, like, music-making song, per se. I want to, um... Like, do more karaoke-type stuff as well, but I'm not... I'm not as good and familiar with a lot of pop songs as other people are. And I'm not very good at, uh, or competent in singing Japanese to sing enough, uh, J-pop songs. So, um... I, I don't know, I'll think about it. I'd have to come up with a, with a very good list of songs that I could actually, uh, sing. And, like, I also want to do, like, covers, like, upload covers and stuff, but I haven't done that. I, I, I had plans to do so in the fall, but then I never did. But other than that, I think... Oh, goodness. I, like, music is my passion, so that's why I'm kind of, like, nervous and, and, like, just overall... Uh, anxiety written about it today because uh, this is something I'm really passionate about but um I think I think I've rambled on long enough so <clears throat> yeah I think that's about it that's about it okay I'll be back Tuesday bye